Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to Ireland's first video review of Nissan's brand new Micra. And I say brand new, it is brand new in pretty much every respect. It's powered by a 1.2 liter uh, 8 valve engine, which is a, a nice little thing. It's a nice looking car. I'm impressed with the way it looks. It looks better than the outgoing Micra, I was never really a fan of that. Although I was a fan of the Micra previous to that one. I thought it was a very cute little car and it lost some of its cuteness. Well, I think the Micra may have regained some of its cuteness right now. Now this one is the entry level model, okay? So I'm not driving some fancy big press car thing, this top range stuff. This is the entry level 1.2 liter model. This is the model you'll buy in other words. So in this one, I have all the good stuff as well. I have front electric windows, a decent stereo, which I was listening to earlier on, is pretty good actually. And I also have um, Bluetooth hands-free, which is available on all of the cars. Now, also in this car, good sound that engine. Also in this car, there is, unlike most of the competitors in the small car segment, you'll find that they don't have traction control. But in actual fact, it's involved. It's in this car. ESP comes as standard on these models. Now, <clears throat> there's a five-speed box in it, which seems very decent. It's pretty uh, solid, nice. And a cruising speed, now we're just up at 100 kilometers an hour now, and I have to say it's quiet enough, the 1.2 liter range is not exactly buzzing away underneath the bonnet. It's a nice, it's a nice, very stable drive. It's actually very comfortable. It feels very comfortable, but it actually feels very solid on the road as well. I'm impressed. Big mirrors, they're uh, adjustable from inside as well, which is the other part of that. Uh, big vents on the dashboard. It is, you know you're sitting in a micro, you know you're sitting in, in a little, like it says, same sort of steering wheel from the last one. It also has Bluetooth phone controls on your steering wheel, and you have um, stereo controls on the steering wheel, so that's both there. Now the looks of the car is a question of taste. You either like it, or you don't. I think it's a more acceptable look than the previous one. It, it's less discussion about the car and more about the fact that it's a car and it's, that it seems to be a good one. But this is very basic, nice essence of a car and that's brilliant. I like that in a car. I like when a car has been boiled down and all the crap has been removed and I tell you all the sales blurb is finished with it and all of a sudden you've got a car. Here's just a car. It's a vehicle for getting you from A to B. And this feels like a very solid, very safe version. You've got six airbags in here, like one in front, there's one over that side, but I also have curtain airbags too, which is other part. This has ABS and uh, traction control as standard, which is actually called ESP, in case you're wondering. They've all got a different name for it, but ESP seems to be one of most we're gonna go for now. In front of me, the dashboard is very clear. I can easily see what speed I'm doing in kilometers. I have a rev counter, I have a fuel gauge, and I have a clock. And that's pretty much it. I, mean, I can also have a trip computer as well, which is the other part as well. I can figure out my uh, kilometers, liters per 100 kilometers. At the moment, I'm using one. I'm on a roundabout now, just to see what it feels like. Acceleration's really good. The little engine just spin away under the bonnet. It's really going for it. It's really good. Really good. And then it settles down. You reach your speed that you want, and it all settles into just being a little car. I love, I absolutely love the kind of the touches, the little touches. There's in the middle here, I just have a sort of a three dials. So I have my fan speed, I have rear window in the mister, I have uh, the, the direction I want the air to come out, and I have what temperature to set it at. Okay? But they're all dinky little dinky little switches and are just at the right height, the right place, exactly where I can, just without looking, I can go click anything and it's done. I've also got headlamp levelers. I can turn off the traction control on that side of me. Um, there's a decent stereo in it too. Now there is an aux connector and a USB port. I'm told there's a USB port somewhere. I don't see it right now, but it's there. I have a shelf down there and I have a glove box, which is a decent, bloody hell, that's a big glove box for a small car. There's a TARDIS down there, rather than a glove box. It's quite big, quite decent. Materials used are, well, useful. They're nice, 
they're hard plastic, but not, it's a decent material, it's just not that soft plastic that we're starting to get used to in a lot of cars these days. But again, like I said, this is the entry level model, this is the model you're going to buy with your own money. Now this car, on the road price, now I'm not going to talk about some fictitious thing, plus metallic paint, plus this, plus that, no. The on the road price of this car, you walk to the dealership tomorrow, you can drive out and one, 14,900 euro. That's a cheap car. I'm mightily impressed. Nissan, you have opened my eyes to the new Micra. Now this is a, like I say, a 10-15 minute test drive. It's not a big long week, so I can't really tell you all of the gubbins, but I do know it has a big boot. It's very easy to drive. There seems to be power in every gear as well. It's just, I'm in fourth, which is the wrong gear for the speed. It still seems to give me plenty of acceleration. It's a good engine. For those who want to know, it's a three-cylinder engine, eight valve, okay? So I know that's, that's a, a bugbear of some people that prefer the 16 valve engine, but I can't see anything wrong. Nissan must know what they're doing to put an eight valve engine in. God, it's very maneuverable. It really is. Very maneuverable. I'm very impressed. Absolutely, I'm very impressed with this car. I like the handles. They're like the juke handles. Um, really, I, I I wouldn't have been a big fan of Micra in general, but this this is very good. I love the headroom. I tons of room. I'm way above the header. Very good. Brilliant. Brilliant car.